Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, this will be part 3333, something like that, but I'm still having a good time playing it, and I hope you're having a good time watching it still. It seemed after the last couple of videos, the overwhelming sentiment is that I should definitely play more as question mark, question mark, question mark, who from here on will be known as Blue Baby, I suppose, it seems like a half decent name for him. Apparently Blue Baby is a, a reference to uh, a game that Edmund McMillan developed for Newgrounds earlier in his career, or his username on, on Newgrounds, I can't remember. Something along those lines, though. And essentially, I think I've mentioned this before, but the key to playing as uh, Blue, ba oh, Blue Baby here, and it's kind of ironic now, is that uh, you really have to try not to get hit and to get items such as the Book of Revelations or the Nail. Otherwise, you're basically playing on borrowed time. So I don't want to go fight that boss right away. Obviously that heart is useless. And similarly, my poop is pretty useless, but people have been recommending I use it every room just because sometimes there is an item contained therein. But for now, we'll just kind of handle lust here. And I say, I do know how to handle lust. Shoot it in the face, or just cry and lust will disappear, I promise you. Okay, what kind of pills we got here? Let's use those right away, just see what they do. Bad gas, alright. Poison cloud, that's a, that's a shame. So, I could go fight the boss, but instead, let's go shoot this poop. The poop cannot be shot. I have created an impossible poop, okay. Not the first time that someone's told me that. Let's uh, go to the item room, otherwise I would have ran directly to the boss. And we'll just kind of do some circle strafing here. These guys should go down relatively easily. Normally I don't take too much damage in the in the basements. So I have no, uh, no fear that I won't survive through this, but... Hopefully we get good items nonetheless. Anarchist Cookbook, not a particularly good item, but uh, better than nothing. Hey, there's a nickel in that poop. Maybe we can use that at the shop a bit later. Uh, why not go up here? I do need bombs and keys, so... Hey, there's a chest in here, and inside of the chest... Bombs! Alright, well, that's something. I'll probably save the Anarchist Cookbook until our boss fight. But, you know what, let's, let's not take a gamble. I was going to take a gamble and try to find the secret room, but I'm better off saving my bomb for some blue rocks because they usually give off spirit hearts. So we got a monstro here, let's use Anarchist Cookbook and get the fuck out of there. Alright, that worked okay. I did take a little bit of damage though, I honestly expected monstro to pretty much just die from that. But, no such luck. We'll just keep hammering away at monstro. Doesn't scare me too much considering I've fought him probably like 50 or 60 times over the course of this let's play so far. Both in uh, this form and in Monstro 2, and also uh, in rooms where he just spawns by himself down in the womb, and also against It Lives, Mom's heart, when she starts to spawn uh, bosses to fight against. Well, there's Mom's heals, so we got some range up. Still not looking so good in terms of uh, Blue Baby's items here. Oh, fuck, that was a bad hit to take. But hopefully, I can keep not getting hit very often. Find some spirit hearts and blue rocks. Um, you know, maybe get a book of revelations and a battery, and then things are looking up. Although I did say that uh, in the last video where I used him as well. What can I say? This is good because it adds a little bit of uh, excitement to the Let's Play. I, you know, as much as I love defeating the game every single time, I feel like it was kind of getting a little bit uh, predictable. You guys would turn on the video and see, oh, 40 minutes, he must win. Now, who knows? Well, you'll probably see 15 minutes and say, wow, he, he must lose. But hey, you know, I've beaten the game in some short amounts of time. If you're watching this right now and you're thinking, whoa, this video is only 20 minutes long, you never know. Maybe I survive. Unlikely. And I don't want to let you down, but, but then <laughs> I probably do die in there. But it's possible that I survive. I'm talking about my own future. It's, it's weirding me out. Anyway, let's just focus on the task at hand, which is murdering these hoppers here. Which, you know, have a tendency to sometimes get under my nerves. We got the chariot, which we will hold on to. That is the item that allows us to do that. Unicorn horn. Uh, I will definitely use a bomb to get to this key. I remember I said I would save it for blue rocks, but I wanted to make sure that I have an item, or a key, sorry, so that I can go to the item room. We'll definitely hold on to this unicorn horn, too, until it seems like a good idea to use it. Probably, uh, right now. <laughs> I was gonna say we'll save it for the boss, but it, you know, I was, looks looks like I was getting hemmed in there, so maybe is a better solution. Ah, come on! Oh, I've only got one heart left already. I can't die in the first little bit. That would be a that'd be a disaster. So we have this bomb here. We can use that to get some money. So I definitely will do that. I'll put the bomb here just in case the secret room is there. Oh ho ho! Who's a genius? 
this up up to 24 cents. Now, if I could get to the item room as well. Sorry, if I could get to the shop as well, things would be fantastic. So I'm going to take Envy down pretty far here, and then I'm going to use the Anarchist Cookbook, which should take care of the scraps, basically. So we'll get his health bar down here. Next shot, he should, yeah, spawn some more of these jabronis. We're going to just get as many of the tiny Envies on the screen as we can, and then just hammer away at them with the Anarchist Cookbook, which I hope will work fairly well. And maybe, best case scenario, we'll get some keys out of this. And if we do get some keys, then we can go to the shop, which is important for me, considering the amount of money I have and the ratio of money that I have to health that I have, because otherwise things can go badly for me. Oh, I placed a bomb by accident, meant to use the Anarchist Cookbook. That was a bad idea. Now let's use the Anarchist Cookbook and pray that no bombs spawn in our area. Oh, come on! Well, we're only six minutes, and you know what? We have to replay that. This will be the first Isaac video that includes both a death and a restart. That was a goddamn disaster. Let's start that over. Oh, Grandfather Fly, you're not exactly helping my cause here, buddy. Let's get these flies out of the way. Hope for a better item on the first floor. That was a nasty way to die last time, but... Anarchist... Oh, there we go. A spirit heart right off the bat. Uh, yeah. But, you know, that also tricked you up, I'm sure. You saw, like, ten minutes left in the video, and you're like, hey... No way could he die right here. Well, surprise, surprise. This is hey, your grandpa's Binding of Isaac Let's Play video. We're going two deaths this time. Or possibly one death and one successful run. But I wouldn't get my hopes up considering uh, how bad that last run was. I did mention this, uh, but I have beaten the game with Blue Baby here. But uh, that was the only way to unlock the D6 achievement, which also gives you the D6 item. So then, oh, there's a secret room as well. Um, better luck so far. And uh, I, I got lucky, basically. Playing as Blue Baby, I got the nail, I think. The nail and battery gave me enough spirit hearts to pretty much take on whatever aspect of the game I wanted to take on. It's something like, I had more hearts on the screen, or more hearts than the screen could hold. Alright, so we got a sack of pennies here. It's gonna follow us around and give us maybe a, like a penny for every room that we have to go through. That's fine, that's not so bad. I'm not gonna go to the shop right now, and I've already found the secret room, so we might as well just move on and fight this boss, who's hopefully... Ah, not so bad. Larry Jr. Could use- oh, there's a tinted rock in this room. Excellent. So I will use my bomb in here. Hopefully they'll walk into it. Maybe not. Oh, but hey, we got another bomb and a spirit heart out of it. Definitely something that you want to maximize when you're playing as a blue baby. The number of spirit hearts that you can get. So we're just going to stand in a relatively safe position here. <laughs> of course, I no sooner said that than I, than I actually get hit. It looks like one Larry Jr. is very, very close to being deceased. So we'll just keep hammering away in this direction, and uh, pretty soon, pretty shortly, oh, he should pass away. Okay, finally, that was getting hemmed in there. We'll just keep hammering away at this guy. Seems like being perpendicular to Larry Jr.'s path is the best way to, uh, you know, avoid getting fucking murdered every single time. Okay. Ah, that worked out really well, actually. We're gonna get a tears up, which is something. Shoot the poop, nothing in there. So we'll go down. Definitely faring a lot better now than I was last time. Got a little bit more health. And of course, I'll pick up a little bit more money as well, though I was, I was kind of loaded on that last run through. But hey, an extra cent per room. Can't complain about that. Got the poop here. Hey, two cents. I would shoot that other poop, but I'm lazy. So, this room appears to be a dead end, but it's also a chock full of easy enemies, and it gave me a bomb. So, big deal out of here, and we'll be looking for the item room as well as another key so that we can get to the shop. It's gotta be a better name than the item room. Be like the treasure room. Kinda sounds like a like I'm at a brothel though. Treasure room costs extra. Oh, get out of there. These boy guys are kind of a pain in the ass. Oh nasty way they can take damage. You had only one grandfather fly left. I'd love to be able to use that heart, unfortunately. Does not compute. Ah, oh, what a waste. There is a key in there. I will use a bomb to get to this key. Now I can go to the shop as well, and hopefully I'll pick up, you know, a little bit more money so that I can. It's useful at the shop. And there's the arcade as well, and the arcade's sometimes useful. Uh, you can get spirit hearts in there occasionally, but not always. So I'm not. Ah, oh, of course. Free key right there. I'm not going to go to the arcade just yet because I don't have enough bombs to blow anything up, and I also. Uh, 
you know, I could probably make better use of my money at the shop. Maybe. It's a judgment call, though. If you were playing along with me, and somehow got exactly the same arrangement of items that I have right now, I would not begrudge you if you went to the arcade instead of the shop. I think that would not be a bad idea. Oh, there's the secret room, so I won't have to waste a bomb to use that, or to get that. Come down here, more money, please. Lots more money. Possibly enough to buy two items with. What do we got in our poop here? Nothing at all, okay. There's the item room and the shop, fantastic. Kind of a tricky setup, though. And no tinted rocks, so I have no excuse to uh, use a bomb to take these guys out. Just gonna have to be superior skill, which sometimes I lack. Sometimes I impress myself. Oftentimes, I impress no one. But, use my range advantage there, and yet another key. Fine by me. Item room is gonna give us the luck foot, which, you know, is sometimes okay uh, when you're playing as this character, but I'm worried that some of the items that I get, particularly like a uh, vampirism, is not gonna help me out that much. So what do I want to buy here? Definitely, for seven cents, I will buy ten bombs. Um, we'll do a little bit more exploring. Uh, this is the last room right here. Hoping to maybe find like some tinted rocks or something, but no such luck. That's okay. Should be able to defeat the boss of the second level, even though I failed uh, miserably last time. I didn't even get to the boss of the second level, did I? I don't think so. Anyway, get these guys out. Ooh, almost got hit again there. Shoot the poop. Don't forget your money. And we will go to the arcade now. Because at the very least, I can blow everything up. I can play the slots for a while, too. Uh, you know, which is probably for the best when you're uh, playing as a character like this. Or I can just blow everything up. Let's... I don't know, let's play this guy a couple times. Sometimes this guy can give you a good item. I could use more keys, of course. Hey, not so bad. Uh, and I could also use that item that gives you uh, the poop helmet and keeps the flies off of you. That'd be cool. And most of all, I could use some more health. Uh -oh. My strategy is uh, working out exactly as many times as probability would predict. I can't use that heart, man. I don't even want it. Alright, well, that's... you just earned yourself a good uh, getting blown up. Hey, an extra spirit heart. Um, well, let's play the slots two times until we get down to 15 cents. Again, can't use that. Hey, uh, oh, I thought that was a pretty fly. Okay, well, we will blow up both of these entities right here then. Another key, another bomb, not so bad. Lots of health I can't use, but I think that turned out okay. I spent five cents and acquired, like, three keys. Duke of Flies, and not even a champion Duke of Flies, so this guy should not be too hard. I have such a bonus in terms of bombs right now. Might as well, if I could get in there, I'd love to plant one on him. Fantastic, it almost killed him. Bombs seem really effective on the Duke of Flash. It's the first time I've used one against him, I think. So hopefully we get a good item here, and particularly like a book, uh, book of Revelations would be fantastic. Or the opportunity to make a deal with the devil, okay, for a nail. HP up, it's something. If there's a nail in here, I gotta take it. Oh, man. Three spirit arts for a brother Bobby or a sister Maggie. Definitely not worth it, unfortunately. I would love to be able to take that deal, but, uh, you know, numbers just don't work out for that right now. Alright, you got a uh, bomb flies right now. Might as well shoot our poop. I suppose people have said that you can use the poop as a barrier. That's something that I have done successfully. Ah, particularly against, like, Larry Jr. But it, the opportunity to do it happens extraordinarily rarely. It's a card here, Judgment. Totally forgotten what that does. Shoot up poop again. Coming down here, we got the mob trap room. Might as well spend two bombs to get three bombs. Could probably do that in a better way. Maybe. I don't know. That might be the right way to do it. Dare I go into the mob trap room? What is the purple thing? Speed and damage. Okay, well that's that's probably worth it. Provided I don't take a lot of damage in here. What is wrong with my head? Um, it looks like I have real human skin growing out of the zombified remains of what was once a baby doll. Or just a baby. I don't know if it's supposed to be a rag doll. It kind of looks like a rag doll. Got a couple more shots to do this. I think that was a pretty good item to get. But again, vitality is of the utmost importance, so I have to focus my hardest not to get hit in here. Don't, I, I, perk up, buddy. 
Well done, well done. Excellent, and in the chest we have more money and bombs. Something. Let's shoot our poop. I guess I'm gonna save this judgment card for the boss, provided I even get to the boss. Because I don't remember what it does. So if, it, if it's something with a lot of power, I want to save it. And it's something that backfires, I definitely don't want to do it before the boss fight. Hopefully we get a good drop here. Ah, another penny for a sack of pennies. Health I can't use. Shooting our poop. Typical run in the day of Blue Baby. Looking for the item room. I'll definitely use that. I got a surplus of keys, keys and especially bombs right now. Well, that was a waste. I got one cent out of it and a lot of health I can't even use. Too bad there's no item that will turn me into a real boy. I'm, I'm happy that I got that speed up and damage up, particularly with some of the enemies you end up facing around here. Hey, another nipple. Uh, that's going to save me from getting hit a lot. And what do we have here? We have a ladder, and we have some pills. I'll buy the ladder, knowing that I'm going to get a lot more money. Maybe I can pick up a book of revelations or a battery later. Oh, so we got Envy again. You may remember him from my last life. Uh, he inadvertently ended uh, ended my game when I used the Anarchist cookbook ten minutes ago. If you don't remember that, you should probably go to the doctor because you might have some short-term memory loss. Either that or quit drinking, you bum. Uh, no. A couple of these envies are dying already. I've gotten used to envy. Remember, I used to have that strategy of having as few envies on the screen as possible at once. That is probably the best way, but it's also slow as hell. Sometimes it's just fun to hammer away at them all at once here. It seems to go down a lot quicker. More money. I'm firing my laser. Is probably a better item than my poop. So we'll carry this on with us and leave our poop where it belongs. In that hole. Okay, so we should be coming across the item room and the boss room very shortly. But in the meantime, we'll just kind of move around here using our ladder to emphasize our agility advantage over these flies. Yet another nickel. Getting incredibly lucky with that. That must be the, the luck foot at work. Let's just hang out here. Fire my laser at these guys. That works really well. It might not recharge by the boss fight, but that's okay. I feel like I got good use out of it, nonetheless. And our item here is dynamite, which I do not want because I cannot afford to take any damage myself. But we'll just be a little bit cautious on these bomb flies here. I thought you remember I did take some damage on them earlier. And would like to not repeat that, if at all possible. There's two more. A couple more hits on this guy. Yet another key. Now since I do have so many bombs, we might as well try to find the secret room. You never know, sometimes there's a good item inside of it. There it is right there. Didn't even take us far out of our way. But hey, three cents. Eh, probably about market value for the bomb I spent. We're fighting Peep. A champion Peep, no less. Remember, Peep is one of my least favorite bosses to fight. Um, but I might try using some bombs against it because... It seems like it, it worked really well against the Duke of Flies. I don't know. I'm doing fairly well so far anyway. Is that even a champ? Oh, how did that... Where did that come from? Is this even a champion version of Peep? I can't tell. Oh, it looks... Uh, Peep has a little bit of a difference here in that when it jumps, it leaves a, a creep trail behind it. Or in the direction it's going. Fuck. Stop taking damage, you big idiot. Okay. Stay cool. Peep's almost dead. That was some tight movement there. I really wish I could destroy those eyes. Oh god, what does Judgment do? It, 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 this is a bad place for you, baby! Get out of there! This is no place for an infant! Where's your mother? Oh, did she put you down here? Alright, well. I oh, fuck. Okay, just murder it, murder it! Oh, it died at the same time I died! Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's do one more run as Blue Baby. And then, you know, this this will be a triple threat. Three lives of Isaac. Uh, and then maybe I can retire this motherfucker forever. Because I kind of hate using him. And having already gotten the achievement for beating the game with him, this feels like a fruitless effort. But I guess it is kind of a unique episode because you're actually seeing me die several times. Which I'm sure is satisfying for some of you. Hey! Mom's Contacts, this is an item that actually freezes enemies. This could prove useful. I can't believe I got out of that room without getting hit. I'm sure I'm echoing the sentiment of uh, many other people right now. Is there anything down here I wanted to use a bomb for? Use a bomb, get the key. Oh, I'll 
it's safe. I'll stick with the items I got right now. So the freezing effect... Whoa. Freezing effect doesn't always work. No tinted rocks, so I'll just abandon that there. No tinted rock, or was the freezing effect doesn't always take, but when it does take, it works well. And, well, almost no enemies to fight. Might as well go directly to the boss, so we're fighting Duke of Flies again. Hopefully I can get the freezing effect to work on him. Yeah, there we go. That's fantastic, then. Every time it works on him, we'll be able to focus on him for a while. Or, I guess, alternatively, focus on his flies for a while. Seems like a really good item for fighting bosses with. Make sure we take out these flies without getting hurt. Hopefully some spirit hearts drop. Or maybe a deal with the devil. Hey, HP up. It's the same as a spirit heart drop. Although it seems like it's more important. It is definitely not. It's coming through here. Ah, there is a tinted rock in this room. So I'll definitely explode that. As well as shoot my poop. Forgotten about that. Hey, there's a penny. And from here we get three more bombs. Fair trade. Not going to use my key here yet because I definitely want to show up at the item room. And there the item room is. Kind of a tough room here, but I was freezing guys in the doorway, which was kind of holding other people back. Or other enemies back, I should say. I don't know if I would necessarily call these people. The mom's contact seems pretty good. Uh, this is the first time I can remember having it, but I think people have told me about it before. Any tinted rocks in here? No? Indeed not. Uh, another scent. And the item room. Extra speed and range. Can't really complain about that. Although there would probably be better items for me to have at this moment. Do some freezing on these guys. I wonder what causes that. If it's like, if it hits every X number of shots, or if there's some kind of random effect applied to it. Ah, another key. Excellent. Come down here. Uh, I could use. Oh yeah, I definitely will use one bomb to get this money because there's a tinted rock right there. And it dropped two spirit hearts, so that was definitely the right decision to make in that situation. Things are working out okay so far. Even my poop's happy. Oh, okay. Room full of, uh, fiery, flaming, angry hoppers. Ugh. Let's get out of here as fast as we can. I like the animation they have when they get frozen. They, uh, it's really, really bad, actually. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Oh! Not bad in, like, an animation sense, but... Just not not good. I don't like seeing it. Oh, how did look at the size of that jump? Who do you think you are? Tarot card, the fool. Takes us back to the spawn room. Ah. It's foolish of me to come into this room because there's nothing for me here, although I probably will use a bomb to get to this chest. Might as well do it right now, just on the off chance it hits the enemy. Or allows me to abuse my range advantage and take him out from a distance. More money. And more money. Not enough to justify going to the shop we got in the mob trap room here. Compass! Oh, yes. Absolutely worth picking up. To think I was just going to skip that room by. Especially in the basement part, too. Enemies are so easy to kill here. Uh, it would have been a damn shame to not get that compass. Whoa! Granny! Get, get away from me! How did I not get hit there? Each one of these motherfuckers takes three hits. It seems like three hits too many. I must have a fucking strong beard. One more on this guy. And what do we got? Ah, these guys. No biggie. Except for when you run into them thinking that they would be dead by then. Sometimes that gambit pays off. That was not one, one of those times. Still, Compass is an extraordinarily valuable item. And I'm looking forward to hopefully getting a chance to use it. Right, freezing the... Uh, freezing... Freeze! Freeze him! You have the freezing effect! It's the one, one thing in your bag of tricks right now. That can save your life. Ah, another key, that's good. If it gets a lot of money here, it might be worth going to the shop. I got almost no money. And by almost no, I mean zero. Who are we fighting? Monstro! Alright, big fucking deal. Yeah, and when I freeze him, he looks like he just fired himself. Actually, this is a really good uh, set of items for taking on Monstro, because when he gets frozen, it gives me a lot more time to hit him. Whoa! Oh my god, Monstro, I'm sorry! Uh, what have I done to you? Alright, well, I guess I, I angered him. There we go. Freeze him some more. Hopefully he doesn't do that weird belly dance thing again. It's freaking me out, man. There we go, and he'll die. We got another spirit hearts. And happy poop. And we'll move down. Caves part one. I think this might have been where I died last time. So we're going to move towards where I think the... Oh, come on. Where I think the item room is. 
And if it is indeed down here, we'll be able to make a pretty quick run through the boss. While oh, the boss is in that corner. Mm-hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I don't even think I looked for the secret room last time. That was, that was a huge mistake. Letting my Isaac complacency get in the way of actually defeating the game here. I'm thinking if I actually beat the game on this run, this would be like the longest video in the Binding of Isaac history. It would be like two hours long. There we go. Freeze. Freeze his ass solid. Thank you. Now crumble into a pile of ash. Come on. Jesus. This is the greatest dodger in history. I, I don't know enough about baseball to make a baseball joke about that, but I feel like it would have been really good. Cut! Look at this shit! There we go. Fucking finally. Oh, man. Might as well shoot our poop. Nothing better to do. Three of these guys. Probably shouldn't be too hard, considering I can freeze them. Oh, man. That was... One freezing is not enough to murder these guys. Oh, nice. Another item. Slow down time. Okay, well, that's, that's useful. I can slow down time in conjunction with the freeze and pretty much ruin somebody's day. Oh, man. That guy's legs are still moving. I think the freezing process didn't work. How did he not die? That was, I mean, that was my own fault, surely, but still. Alright, so it looks like the boss isn't over here. We're gonna have to go all the way around. Remember, I don't have that ladder anymore, so I can't just walk over and get that money. Alright, well, that's bad news for that guy. A bomb I can't use. Uh, I don't really want to go to the shop yet, but if I do get another cent, I probably will. Oh, fuck. This is a disaster now. I'm playing sloppy. The flies are hitting me. Okay, freeze him. He's still moving. That should be allowed. There we go. This one too. Where you would don't hide there. I cannot hit you there. That's a problem for me. Since I need you to die so I can move on. One more. Why is frozen? You should fall to the ground and shatter like fucking Mr. Freeze. This was realistic. Where's the realism, Edmund McMillan? Or one room away from the boss room, and I'm really tempted to use oh to use my um, hourglass, but I won't. This is a tough room though. There's uh, bomb flies and oh freeze one and hammer away at him. I guess it's the best strategy I could possibly fathom for this one. Man. Oh, we do have 19 cents now. Dare I go to the shop? Seems like that would probably be for the best, but it's also risky because I can take some damage on the way. That guy, when I froze that guy and, and murdered him, he didn't die. Or he didn't uh, explode in a hail of bullets. I'm not going to bother with that right now, but we will go back to the shop. There's only one more rune that we have to traverse to get there. And, you know, it could potentially be game-changing if we get, uh, like, a Book of Revelations. Let's use our hourglass here, just in case, you know, there's a good space bar item in the next room. I can use that right away. So we'll freeze these guys. Well, we, we can't really decide whether or not we're freezing them, but I'll do my best. Now we can... Now we can tell if they're frozen, at least. Seem a lot faster now. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if they come ah, come out of that freezing with a little bit of a boost. Could absolutely use some spirit hearts at this point. Mom's pad. Well, I'll buy it. Um, I think that freezes enemies as well. And then we'll go try to fight the boss and probably realize that if I take almost any damage here, we have serious crisis on our hands. Oh, hey. Tinted rock. Thank God I didn't miss that. An extra spirit art. That's going to give me something. Um, was that two spirit arts? Looks like I might have gotten two spirit arts out of that. And so, our boss here is Chubb. One of my favorite bosses to fight. Use Mom's pad. I can't remember what that does. I guess if... Whoa! Oh, Chubb. I'm sorry, man. Um, I'm glad you got that body situation sorted out, though. I'm just going to basically hammer away at Chubb. The ability to freeze him is pretty important, uh, I guess, I suppose. Gives us more time to hammer away at him, and he, uh, obviously is a lot less effective when we can, uh, slow him down. This means he can't do his charging attack nearly as effectively. And also, his stupid silkworm kids keep running into him. Ah, oh, this is good. Mom's con- oh, yeah. Mom's contact's a great item. Right in his open mouth! Ah! Uh, I wish I was doing more damage, but, hey, can't complain. It's a pretty good item defensively for taking on Chubb, anyway. Come 
one. I need one freezing shot would be nice. Is he immune to it? What happened? Maybe it can only work X number of times on an enemy in a room? Oh well. Nope. Looks like I'm okay. That was a tough one, but I managed to weed we my way out of that one. Uh, I freeze him! Thank you! There we go. Chubb's dead. As are his Silkworm brothers. A little bit of a speed up. One of the worst items I could possibly imagine getting right now. Let's head down to the caves part two. We got new... New things, new interstitials here? Nope. Okay, uh, well, we definitely want to go in this direction because both, well, both, uh, the boss and the item room are over here. The two things that I am most interested in because I don't have enough money to really use at the shop right now. Well, this is going to take us pretty much directly to the boss, which I don't necessarily want to do. Probably want to get, ah, uh, get the item first just to get, oh, uh, fuck, just in case it's something really useful. Oh, no. These motherfucking guys are so good at flanking! Maybe I should stop counting my chickens before they hatch. Oh, Jesus. I, I have to apologize. Yeah, I, actually, you know what? I'm not going to apologize for this video, because I think it, it was probably... It's been funny. At the very least. Not as successful, not nearly as successful as my other videos, but still... Funny, nonetheless. This one has three deaths, likely, compared to the average of, what, slightly under one, I suppose, at this point. Hey, secret room, what do we got? Well, I will definitely play that slot machine. Just pray that it gives me something useful. Oh. Thank God I wasn't next to it when it exploded. And do I really need to get that money? I don't think so. Let's shoot the TNT and maybe something magical will happen. Not so. Oh, God. Mom's pad. Get it. Thank you for getting away from me. And let's murder these guys in the best way. The best way is the way that doesn't hurt me. Fuck, it's like playing jazz ball. Get out of here. Ah! Okay, it would help be helpful if my freezing works a little more often. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, bomb. Bomb flies dead. How about this guy? Oh, god damn it. I got. It's the first time I've been killed by the spikes. Oh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Probably the last times I will be playing as Blue Baby. Pretty unfortunate runs all around here. As always, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you with more of an optimistic run, hopefully next time. Anyway, another thing I wanted to mention, I've been thinking of doing Binding of Isaac Challenge videos, which are basically videos that make it a little bit harder on me to beat it. For example, a good one might be uh, Beat the Binding of Isaac without using any bombs. Beat the Binding of Isaac without using any keys. Beat the Binding of Isaac without getting any items. Maybe we're looking distantly in the future for, my, for me to be able to beat that one. But still, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. I will check them out, and hopefully we'll be able to see those starting sometime this week or maybe this weekend. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.